Hey guys, Brian Stevens here with the National Real Estate Post. Want to let you know that Oak Tree Funding is here to help you out with all of your non-QM needs. Now, non-QM is tracking this way. The rest of the industry is kind of tracking this way. So let's go in the direction where there's business. Oak Tree, these guys are great. They're waiting for you right now. Just click this banner right over there. Now, I want to say this. Thank God. Thank God the CFPB has just issued a much needed bulletin. And in that bulletin, it states that the Equal Credit Opportunity Act, ECOA, continues to protect borrowers after they have applied for and received credit. In short, you can't discriminate against your clients after they receive credit from you, even if you wanted to in the first place. Now, a quote from the CFPB. Quote, the CFPB is ramping up its efforts to issue guidance and advisory opinions to assist entities with understanding their obligations under the law. The CFPB director Rohit Chopra said, today's advisory opinion and accompanying analysis makes it clear that anti-discrimination protections do not vanish once a customer obtains a loan, in case you were actually wondering as a lender out there. Now, to me, if the CFPB didn't figure out that lenders need to know that you can't discriminate after you've extended credit, it seems to me like they might be asleep at the wheel a little bit, or this could just be some form of additional grandstanding, as if anybody still thinks in their right mind that any form of discrimination is okay for any reason whatsoever. Does anybody really? Again, this sounds like a fishing expedition because if not, it just occurred to the CFPB that it's not okay to discriminate after their initial meeting. How could that even be possible? Now, I wonder if this has anything to do with the new targeted loan programs that are going to come out from the CFPB with Freddie Mac leading the way. Freddie Mac will debut targeted lending programs this year following guidance from regulators giving lenders the go ahead. The special purpose credit program will pertain to Black, Latino, and Native American borrowers, according to Pamela Perry. She is the head of the Freddie Mac Single Family Equitable Housing Team. The program will be announced in the third quarter of this year, and Perry said during a fair housing webinar hosted by the National Housing Conference, a mortgage trade association. See, here's kind of the problem. I've always believed that targeting when you're marketing somebody meets the very definition of discrimination, and you'd be hard-pressed to find any articles that disagree with that point. Here's a quote. The result of this targeted marketing may be discriminatory in context in which consumer protection and civil right laws apply, such as marketing credit. While the use of technology in consumer financial services or fintech has created many innovations that benefits consumers, the ability to filter the reach of marketing so narrowly that it can raise a range of consumer protection and financial inclusion concerns, including the fair lending risks of steering and redlining. And by the way, as it pertains to ACOA, what exactly the CFPB is talking about in the directive that they just put out, their advisory opinion, I give you this. The ECOA prohibits credit discrimination on the basis of race, color, religion, national origin, sex, marital status, age, or receipt of income from any public assistance program, or because a person has exercised certain legal rights under the ECOA and other financial statutes. The ECOA and its implementing regulation, Regulation B, apply to both consumer and consumer credit. Through Regulation B, the ECOA prohibits creditors from making oral or written representations in advertising or other forms that would discourage or to prohibit in advertising or other formats that would discourage on a prohibited basis a reasonable person from making or pursuing credit applications. And finally, when we're looking at targeted marketing and it comes to discrimination statutes, it's even there, isn't it, with social media. Facebook's March 2019 settlement promised significant changes. The company agreed to retool its advertising platform and appeared to acknowledge the risk of digital redlining to limit the filtering options available to advertisers, restrict geographic targeting to a minimum geographic radius of 15 miles for a specific address or for the center of the city and disallow targeting by zip code. Likewise, it also seemed to address the harm that was caused when advertisements are not broadly accessible. It agreed to build a tool that would allow any Facebook users to view any advertisement for housing and credit placed on the platform anywhere in the United States, regardless of the audience's original targeted for that advertisement or where it's viewed. So yes, when we start to hear about discrimination from the CFPB that makes you scratch your head, or we start looking at Freddie's targeted loans, which leaves me scratching our head, it just makes me wonder if we are possibly going down the road of what would be a new definition of discrimination drawn down different lines. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thanks a lot.